What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys eight different ways to film a fight scene. Fight scenes are a lot of fun to film and it's, you know, most of the time it's pretty necessary for a story. So as a good filmmaker, you got to learn how to film fight scenes, right? So number one way of filming it is called a long lens stunt. And basically you're very far away from the fight and you have a longer lens where your lens is zoomed in and basically is just kind of a wide shot of someone getting punched. What sells this is the way a long lens, you know, compresses the image. Once your actor punches the other actor like that, right? From the other side, you have this longer lens. It compresses the shot, making the punch look super realistic. And they definitely use this shot in a lot of movies, such as, you know, Fight Club. And keep in mind, your actress does not need to punch that close to the face, a few inches, is good enough, right? And just cause it compresses the image so much that it sells it and make sure they punch on the other side. So not like this, like, like this, you know? So number two is called a speed punch. So the camera is behind the victim of the punch. And basically you film your victim looking at your main character who's doing the punch, right? And you film this as your main character gets closer and make sure the main character is center framed and as he goes for the punch, you pan the camera with the character's like swing. And as he finished the punch, you know, the super impactful punch, you stop the camera, you just follow the momentum of the punch and it shows that, you know, one punch is all it took and just keep that camera movement fast, right? It's a very fast punch. Just cause how fast everything is going, you know, being a few inches away should be enough to sell it just because the camera motion blur and everything just makes it a super simple stunt look super, you know, realistic and really cool. So another aspect of fighting is, you know, them shoving someone into a wall, onto the ground or some kind of bear hug, right? And basically to sell this, you can have it where the audience feels like they're in the scene. And to do this, it's called matching motion. and essentially your camera follows the actor's motions, right? So if your actor comes in and bear hugs him, shoves him to the wall, right? The camera could be on the side and it just follows the action. And as they land into the wall or onto the ground, that's when your camera, you know, goes to an abrupt stop and you know, you can do like a push in, right? Or you can just pan to the side or anything you'd like. But doing this just makes it look like the audience is part of the action. So keep in mind in this shot, you need to make sure that the camera is focused on one actor and you know, make your scene look a lot better. So number four is called the knockdown. And basically what happens is you film your actor getting punched by the attacker and the camera's behind the attacker, right? So he does the punch and your actor, you know, fakes getting punched. And instead of, you know, actually falling onto the ground, which, you know, couldn't resolve in their injury, they can just, gently like you know squat down and sit down onto the ground like they just got knocked on the ground right and as they get out of sight you move the camera onto ground level with your actor who got punched to sell this effect even more is if you're after getting punched on the ground your attacker still goes and lunges at the guy on the ground right and that can sell it really good and this could you know be very impactful without causing anything you know dangerous with your actor the fifth way is called cutting for impact and basically what it is is you have a shot of your actor and a lot of times in movies you know you use your legs you know use your feet to kick you know you're not always just hitting with your fist right so what you can do is have a shot of the guy you know kicking right so then it cuts the guy being kicked and you can fake this really well so two shots one shot is your attacker right he's the one doing the kicking and to do this you want to get close to the attacker and you want to have the camera kind of shooting up just to show you know the power dynamic is you know he's above the other guy and also have him kick something soft you know like a pillow or something don't just kick thin air just because it looks fake and you know he's doing that right and then you cut to him uh, the shot of the ground level and the guy being kicked, right? And when you call action, the attacker could just be pulling his leg away, right? This is after the kick. And your actor recoils to, you know, show the kick. And then basically when you're editing it, have two kicks of your attacker's face and, you know, his reaction just to show the audience what's happening. And then for the third kick, you can, you know, show the guy being kicked on the ground. And I think that can, you know, work really well if you can edit it good. All right, the sixth way is when your actors are fighting, right? They're gonna end up on the ground. So once they end up on the ground, you know, you do the two over the shoulder shots, right? One is to see the guy on the top and the other one is to see the guy on the bottom. And this shows a very good power dynamic, you know, one's on the top, one's on the bottom. 
and most fights are like this. To be able to do this, you know, it's pretty easy to film the guy on the ground, but to film the guy on top, it's usually harder just because you gotta be so low to the ground. Even without a tripod, it's still really hard. What you can do is just get a platform. Your actors could be on the platform. You can have the same distance for both shots and make sure you're using the same lens and the same distance away. When the actors are on the ground fighting, I think that adds a level of intimacy and shows how personal the confrontation is. So the seventh way of filming a fight scene is off-screen violence. So a lot of times when you're filming, you don't want to just show like the disgusting nature of him, you know, beating someone with a hammer or like a, you know, an ax and have blood everywhere you know it could be hard to film that right so what you can do is have the shot of just your actor who's doing the hitting and you don't have the person being hit in frame and to do this you want the camera waist level pointing up at your main character who's doing the hitting and what you want to do is start off the shot with the victim in front of them standing and then they could do a hit and they're on the ground and they continue to beat but it's off the screen right and you can do you know put some blood in a spray bottle and spray it or something and make sure you have some padding on the ground or so they can actually be hitting something so they're not just hitting air and you know hitting air always looks fake all right so number eight and that is to show the defeat at the end of the fight i think this is important because this is you know the conclusion of the fight and you kind of want to have a moment after the fight where the characters you know either they're like oh my gosh what did i just do or be like let's freaking go you know you're a freaking loser or whatever you want to shot you know either from the side or from the ground pointing at the guy that's winning the fight you know he's beating on them as he's doing that the other guy slowly like you know falls back you get the reaction shot of your hero and there could be a guy in frame and he just falls out of frame right and then you cut to a reverse angle basically of the guy on the ground to show that the fight is over and everything's good yeah here are eight different ways you can be shooting a fight scene or i guess you can call it eight different steps of shooting a fight scene you know just keep in mind there's a few pointers just be safe and you know use editing to your advantage you know you know sound design is very important to selling the effect having a lot of quick cuts could sometimes be very good to show the intensity of the fight i don't know depending on the story it'd be good if the actors could be saying something like get the f off me or you know what are you doing or something like that you know just not be just dead silent when they're fighting because usually it sounds kind of awkward especially in beginner student films right so so you know just make sure you're trying to sell it as good as possible without being very unsafe with your act you know we don't want to we don't want to see a movie where they're actually beating the crap out of someone anyways i hope you know these tips were helpful good luck in your future filmmaking endeavors i'll see you guys in the next video peace out